Hello everyone, it's Sackplace back with another Lumion Legacy video. In today's video, I'll be showing you the new updates coming to Lumion Legacy. All these updates were confirmed by Lando64000, the head dev of Lumion Legacy, in a Discord voice chat. Before you get on with the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe with notifications on. Also, watch till the end of the video because there are some super cool new updates coming. The first update I'll be talking about is more box space in Lumion Legacy. I mean... You keep hunting and you get a bunch of roams, gleams, and gammas, and 50 boxes used to be a lot back then, but now 50 boxes are pretty full. So that's why it's confirmed that we're going to be getting more box space in Lumion Legacy. Honestly, this is really helpful for hunters and traders, because sometimes you have to do really big trades and you have to get in your alt accounts because you don't have enough storage. After Atlantean City is released, we're, we're, we're going to be getting ranked PvP. Now, the reason this is after Atlantean City and not with Atlantean City, since Atlantean City is adding a bunch of updates as well. The devs want to work hard on those updates instead of working harder on ranked PvP. But it's still going to be really cool to have ranked PvP after Atlantean City. Lando also said that he's going to make hunting more fun. Now, if we're going to be honest, hunting isn't really that fun. You just have to run around in circles and then click run from the Lumions you don't want. It gets kind of tiring when it's the same repetitive thing over and over and over again. That's why Lando said that he's going to add more stuff to make it more fun. And one of those things could be more weather. So, it's confirmed that there's going to be more weather, but I'm pretty sure most of us knew that was coming. It could be snow weather, it could be other types of weather. But I'm really excited to see new weathers and what effects they'll have. Now, I'm pretty sure we've all been there, if, especially if you're a trader. Now, you're trying to trade for some Lumians, and you have to trade items for it. And it just takes forever, putting an item on a single Lumian, or catching a Lumian, putting it on there, and then trading it. And you can only trade four at a time. And item trading is really hard. But the thing is, Lando said that we're going to be able to trade items. So, you could like in go inside a trade, and click on your bag, and you can just drag and drop your items into the trade. Honestly, I think this is really helpful and I can't wait till this comes out. It'll make trading much, much easier. We might be getting two battle theaters in a year after a year. Basically what that means is, so not 2022, but 2023, we might be getting two battle theaters in that year. Now this is actually pretty cool since we know 2021 has been a tiny bit disappointing since there was no battle theater at all. Although, we did sort of get made up for it with all the events we've had. Since Snaggle has a sandwich in its mouth, um, we were wondering, does Snaggle always have a sandwich in its mouth? What will it be like in-game? So, Lando said that it will have in its mouth an adventure mode, um, but with a small twist. So... We're not sure what the twist is, but what I think is that Snaggle would be like Cramorant. So it would go, go around throwing sandwiches out of its mouth. I know it's a far-fetched idea, but it could be true. This one is actually really cool. We might be getting plushies of Lumion Legacy. Like IRL plushies. Like just imagine having a plushy eaglet or like a plushy dusket. Those would be so cool. Like I would definitely buy one of those. The next one is about the roaming music. We're going to have a different roaming music for each and every single roam, which honestly is really cool and just adds more to the game as a whole. I'm not sure if you've all experienced this before, but getting a corrupt roam or a corrupt pyramid is just really upsetting. It's the exact same odds as a gleaming roam or a gleam pyramid, but you just get the same shards. You don't even get anything special. That's why we might be getting special corrupt roam shards. So basically what those are is that we might be getting special shards for roamings. Which honestly is really cool. And although I would not like to get them since I would prefer a gleam roam than a roam shard. It'd still be nice to have a few. The next update I'll be talking about is something that I've actually really loved doing. And that is Nuzlocke and Randomizer game modes. So personally, I love doing Nuzlocke and Randomizer Nuzlocke. Knowing that we can do Randomizers in Lumion Legacy is just really cool. 
Like, I could walk into the grass right here and find a gleaming Valkyrie, which normally you can't. So those are all the updates we've had. As always, if you enjoyed my video, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on. That way you won't miss out on any future videos. Goodbye, and keep being awesome.